Modifying dimension parameters. Uh, we can modify any dimension parameters in our properties uh, type. So if we go pick on the properties type that we want, and we go to edit type, it'll bring up all the properties and the values of these properties. So here's all the parameters that we can change. And we scroll up and down, and here's all the values. Now typically we would duplicate this, give another name, and make some changes. But let's go and take a look at some of these values and what they mean. I'll do, <coughs> do that. <coughs> We're going to go over to, um, here we got the permanent dimension type property. So the first thing is we have a dimension string type. So it can be a continuous, which is A. Um, and the end, uh, we place dimensions and the end. Uh, we also have baseline, uh, so it's measured all from the same baseline or datum, and uh, and an ordinate uh, is a dimension string that measures from a dimension ordinate or dimension datum. Uh, leader type, we can either have a line drawn as a leader, a, a diagonal leader, or we can have an arc. Um, so a lot of times uh, we have somewhere uh, we want to show things on a surface of a wall. A, you know, we might go with an arc or something like that because a line doesn't look like it's part of it. Uh, the shoulder length, we can key in the value of the shoulder length only if that's a line. Uh, a leader tick mark uh, is a mark that's to the tip of the leader. Show leader when text moves. Uh, so how do we, if we move the text, do we, what do we do with the leader? Uh, you know, do we move it away from the origin or does it go beyond the witness line? Tick mark, uh, the name of the tick mark style. Do you want uh, you know, a closed circle or do you want an architectural tick, etc. A line weight. Line weights, uh, we can control those. And uh, line weights in Revit go from a value of 1 to 16. And uh, so, and then a tick, uh, tick mark line weight. Uh, so that's the value of the tick mark. Uh, the dimension line extension. Uh, and that uh, this extends how far beyond the witness line does it go uh, here. So a flip dimension line extension. Uh, this is uh, if we flip the arrow, uh, you know, if the arrow flips on the end of the dimension string or not. Uh, the witness line control switches between a fixed gap or a fixed dimension line functionality. So witness line length, how far of a length of the of the witness line. Think of these as extension lines if that helps. Uh, witness line gap to the element. You know the usual our drafting standards is a visible gap, but we we have to actually set it to something in in, in Revit. Uh, a center line symbol. Uh, so in the center line we have to have a symbol of the center line. Center line pattern, what kind of pattern do we put in there? Center line tick mark, uh, an interior tick mark um, ordinate dimension settings, if we're using those ordinate uh, linear dimension styles, what well, colors, our dimension line uh, snap distance, here we have all our text information, alternate units, uh, we've done those if we want to show such as metric, in our case we have those, uh, text locations whether it's on an incline or in line or is it above the leader line, uh, we also have center marks and dimension, uh, or a, di the, a diameter symbol location, the radius symbol location. So you can tell what those prefixes are. Uh, so all here are all the different settings that we can control regarding our permanent dimension type properties. So we're in Revit and uh, we go over to our properties and we click on edit type and we make those changes these are the things that we're changing and our values uh, of these particular parameters if you have any questions you can go to the help screen and then you can read up on those uh, in particular